Assalamu alaikum. I'm still waiting to see if you can see the session, inshallah. We will wait just one or two moments. Okay, alhamdulillah. So we are live. Yes, we you can see the canvas. Can see me. The light is good. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Um, we will start our second session of art and reflection and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our beloved Prophet. Um, it was two weeks since we had our first session and I hope everyone by now is still at home holding all fine and um, um, hopefully we will have inshallah a good um, activity for the next one one hour 15 minutes or so inshallah I will try to wrap it up within that time um, on I will I will still wait two three more minutes for people to join in and um uh, join us in the session because once i'll start painting then you'll miss out so um alhamdulillah the whole goal of the session the art session that we are holding is that we want to have this as a thicker session we will reflect on painting we will do the painting and the paintings are all from nature while we will be doing the colors on putting the colors on the canvas we will remember those sceneries we have talked about in the last session the same way that we're not being able to go outside let's recreate the sceneries outside outside inside but then at the same time we will remember that this beautiful creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this year for the first time we are not being able to be out there and enjoy to the fullest of it. And that's an eye opening for us that we always know the nature is out there. I can just step out and enjoy it anytime. And then um, the summer passes away, spring, fall. I said it, said it in the wrong order, the spring, summer, fall, passes away and we are busy. We do not have time to see it. We do not have time to enjoy it. We do not have time to see the flowers and the breeze, enjoy the breeze. Um, this is the first time because we always think it's there. It's not going away anywhere. This is the first time it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us that when we say la hawla wa la quwata illa billah, all the power and might belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that even stepping out and enjoying that nature, that also is not in our hand. It's in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hand. And being stuck at home gives that feeling that, okay, what did we miss for this? What did we miss for many, what should I say, many years? And um, I will be short of breath, um, inshallah. This is not something alarming. I always suffer from this during winter when the wind when the air is really dry and when we're inside how much i run humidifier it doesn't help and subhanallah this year i am suffering it even more as the winter is almost gone because we are like definitely at home barely can step outside so subhanallah the humidity in the breeze or in the air that we breathe in and makes us comfortable in our breathing do not think about it on every other day when i'm suffering from it now and i'm thinking about it that how big it is subhanallah so the way we read in surat ar-rahman so which of the favors of your lord will you deny every other thing is a favor around us which doesn't we do not we do not look 
any moment or any given moment as favors. But subhanAllah, all of them are favors. Alhamdulillah. So let's start our session. Bef um, so it's going to be the same. We will do the dhikr of Allah, remembrance of Allah, and um, remembrance remembrance of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I have um, got many texts and um, mm, feedbacks from my friends and acquaintances from different location. And all of you surprisingly used the same term that it was very relaxing and it was very calm. And surprisingly, subhanAllah, I want to make sure and clear it that that was absolutely not because how I run the session, how I do painting, definitely not because of the background, <laughs> the simplest background as it can ever be. That was absolutely because you all and I also remembered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout the session. We had our intention that this is a Friday evening on a Jum'ah day. May Allah accept this as a session of ibadah, act of ibadah from us. That is the reason why it felt so calming and why it felt so relaxing. No other reasons. So inshallah, inshallah, pray that this session and onwards, every other session will be like that. So before we pick up our brush and go over the canvas or paper, let's renew our intention that we are focusing today Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's medicine for your heart to calm ourselves down and have a tranquil moment, inshallah. And even if you're not from a Muslim religion, Islam, you surely can focus on your God, focus on the divine and reflect and meditate while you're painting. Right? Okay, inshallah. Now... I could have your, I know we have our sessions um, with family. That was our focus, that parents will be with children or siblings will be with children. So we will have um, an audience, say, from little kids to different age range. And our goal is to fit in everybody in the act. So inshallah, if you are a very young person, don't worry, mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever is with you, aunt, uncle will help you. And um, painting, if you are not an expert, it's absolutely no big deal. <laughs> there is no um, mistakes in painting, only happy accidents. I didn't say it, it was Bob Ross who said it. So we will do that. So at the end, you will be happy with your painting. You will just, you will inshallah promise yourself you'll look at your painting and you will feel happy about it. Now, roll up your sleeves and what you need is, because I'll be using acrylic color, so you need paper napkin so that you can clean your brush on that paper napkin. You need water and um, what else do you need? No, and you need paint and you have your canvas and you have your art paper. Now, last session, I have said that if you have a canvas or you have an art paper, it works in that case. If you have a regular paper, it doesn't work that much. So we want to soak the whole canvas with water so that it's easier to paint on it. Um, it becomes smooth. So remember, if you only have an art paper, do this, or you have canvas, then do this. Not if you have regular paper because regular paper will get all soaked in water and get torn off yeah good. i'm just checking if the light is good on this canvas so i have if you i do not expect everybody to have this brush like no way <laughs> i do a lot of painting that's why i have this you can just grab you know those kitchen towels uh, kitchen paper towels and um, rub that, soak it in water and rub that over your whole canvas. Now, our today's painting is on um, sunset. So what all the colors are, during, are there during a sunset? I want you guys, you all to remember what all the colors. And if I count, there is blue, 
yellow, orange, red, purple. Um, that's the color in the sky. You, um, and, uh, um, so w and in the sky, and we're going to paint water here also. So we will reflect it on the water also, inshallah. Nice. Now, from the last session, what I realized is that if I draw things with pencil, you cannot see it very well. So you will draw with pencil, but I will do the eye outlines with um, color. So that's easier for you to see unless it doesn't show very well in the video. So first, let me take blue. So I will mix some blue and I will draw Very basic blue. Let me show you how basic blue it is because we are hoping that everybody, oops, which way? There. So this is the, <laughs> this is the blue <laughs> that I'm using. So I'm going to do the blue outlines first. So you will remember those places blue will go now. So I will take some water on it. So say the top of the sky, always like picture. We will see the sunset a little later now. We cannot see much well from the window, I know. But picture, like say top of the sky is actually blue during this time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw like an outline and you draw it with pencil because um, I know how to cover this blue up later and mix it up and like, vanish it but then <clears throat> on a paper it's difficult to do so i will want you to draw just an outline so it gets easier for you later i'll have water here come on okay So that's the blue and here, not exactly in the middle, but somewhere, say like nearly two third of the canvas or your paper, you draw a line. So this will be the line between the sky and the water. This line, is my line straight? I'll straighten it up later. So the thing is that again, this far is blue. So I'm going to draw the border here that I'm going to draw this part blue later. Now, that's my blue part. Now, I'm going to take orange. Orange to draw the orange borders. And I'll tell you what color. It, this will be kind of like color by number so that it gets easier for you. Um, let's take orange. So if you do not have orange, you know how to make orange. You have to mix yellow and red, and that turns out to be orange. Easy. So I know that you still have pencil, and I'm using color brush. So my orange borders will be here. So right here. Here will be one border, one color I will use. And then is these corners, I will use some other colors. <laughs> so this is just to give an idea, okay, how it's going to be and how we're going to separate colors from all of these. Now, I told you in the last session that if you are painting with water um, acrylic color, white, any color, white actually takes a couple of layers to show later. So we are going to put the white in the place of sun so that later when we are doing like a yellow, yellow sun, it shows better. So wash your brush really well in water because we do not want our brush to get covered in
in any other color than the if you you have pencil i have color but for this let's take white let's take a brush i have taken a very thin brush let me take a bigger brush um, so that it's easier for you guys if you have a bigger brush so i expect you have two brushes one is thin and one is like a little thicker yes where did it go there so let me take the white and draw a sun here you can draw the sun with your pencil first i'm just going straight with color and i'll bring it closer i'm sure you can see the white right and because there is a reflection of the sun in water so i'm going to draw the same thing upside down also so here and see how that white because this is acrylic color it's covering the blue it covered the blue so the thing about colors is that if you want to paint with watercolors i can I, I can see that it's visible through the video if you want to use watercolors the idea of watercolor is you have to have you have to start your painting with the lightest color and you put the darkest color last because watercolor is transparent it doesn't cover it up if you're painting with oil painting you start with the darkest and you put layer after layer and you put more light if you want to make a portion lighter you put more light color on top of it and then it becomes lighter acrylic color the advantage of it is that it's like plastic so it just covers up the whole thing doesn't matter as soon as it dries you can cover it up with color now it's i am sure it's all visible for all of you over there and you can see there is a sun in the middle alhamdulillah now while i am taking out take the blue right you already have white in your brush and you have blue now i'm going to take a little bit of blue with the white because the middle of it the middle of the blue part will be a little lighter because the sun is here right wherever the sun is closed that part part will be lighter and the corners will be darker so because we already have white in the brush that's how you save colors <laughs> and not go too messy you already have white so you mixed it with blue and i will show you how light it has become there this is the blue i have made now let's put that blue and while we're putting that blue let's we have just said right which of the favors of your lord we can deny surat ar rahman fa bi ayi ala rabbikuma tukalliban so let's say 10 times ar rahman ar rahim while we're putting the blue okay so i will say it myself and you also say it all together as if you're a family let's do the zikr all together if you're by yourself in front of your laptop let's do it loud so that you can hear it right and everything your room can hear it inshallah so let's say 10 times ar rahman ar rahim bismillah ar rahman ar rahim ar rahman ar rahim ya ar rahman ya ar rahim Ya Ar-Rahman, Ya Ar-Rahim, 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 Ya Ar-Rahim, And let's say that 10 more times before you say it i will show you what i'm about to do and remember we drew a border here for blue so i am going to 
add blue here also while we we have that same color in our brush right so do let's do these things at the same time while we are saying ar rahman ya ar rahim Ten more times that will let us have twenty times doing the dhikr of Ya Ar Rahman, Ya Ar Rahim. We have done the lighter part of this guy. I'm going to wash, uh, dry my brush with that kitchen paper towel. See, my paper towel is all dirty with all colors. So I just dried it up because now that very solid blue we had, did you see this blue? So that blue will go to the corners because <laughs> SubhanAllah, the beautiful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al Musawir, the one who is the fashioner, the one who has fashioned this beautiful world in such everything in place perfectly. And then he is Al Jamal, he is beautiful and he loves beauty. The nature is the biggest proof of that, right? So it goes in perfect harmony that the sky will be gradually blue. So I took that dark blue. And I will show you how you mix it. So let's say, let's do dhikr 10 times while we are mixing, right? We will say 10 times, la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu. While we're doing this, let's say 10 times, la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu. 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 While you're doing the cur and you're painting, let me tell you. So, this top, it just gets mixed. So this will come together. How you, you see, I have put the colors. Now I will show you how to mix it. You can have the same brush or if, you, um, if you're afraid that you shall not be able to do it, take a clear brush, right? And okay, let me show you how you do that with a clear brush. Have your thin brush and clean it in water very well, dry it up. And then what we will do it, remember that light blue that you made, Take a little bit of light blue on that brush. All right? And I'll see how you mix it. It's very easy. It will not look like two different colors over here. I have the dark blue here. And then with this brush, this brush, I'm going to. We will not. So the trick is you will not. You, oops. Could I take it? Yes, it's visible. I'm not going to drag it all the way in the middle, no. But then I'm going to do it with this, mixing this corner up so that it doesn't look two different colors. And then you just sweep it, sweep it, sweep it, like you sweep the floor. So sweep it, sweep it, sweep it. And then I'll do the same at this corner. Do you see how it kind of looks? It's mixed the same way you will do it here. Sweep it, sweep it, sweep it, sweep it, sweep it. Swip it, swip it. And you still have the very dark blue in your brush. So let's take the dark blue and swip it again. So this portion we're swipping, swipping the canvas. And it gets nicely mixed. Now, <laughs> if it didn't get mixed for you, don't feel sad because if it doesn't get mixed, that will make it a contemporary art. 
there is a modern art concept where you have the colors side by side, like say dark blue, light blue, and you see it from far with your eyes, the way we talked about it, the light falls in surfaces. From far, it will look like, oh, these borders are mixed. And you'll come close and you'll see, no, this is a separate color, this is a separate color. So you will create modern art. So there is no feeling sad if you cannot do this. And if you can do this and try it, practice it later, I have been painting for a long time. So over time, with practice, you will get hold of it just like that. And while we are, I'm going to do the same thing here on these corners with dark blue and that light blue, mix it up. So while doing it, I'll keep saying five more times because I haven't finished saying it 10 times. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu. So I'll say it five more times and you guys keep saying it too. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu. La ilaha illallah. Now, we have finished the part of the blue. We will move on to the next color. For the next color, let's make the colors because there will be yellow, orange, red, three. So we have our white. I'm going to go grab some orange and dark red. So if you have just one red, right? Say if you have just one red, this red, yes, you have this very dark red, or you have this light one, this is hmm, brilliant red, this is what they're calling it. So I'll take both, and I will show you, and I'll take, let me take yellow, and we have to mix the color. Sunset is one of my most favorite painting to do. It has so many beautiful colors on the same set. SubhanAllah, sunset and sunrise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala paints the sky with brilliant shades of color and it looks amazing. And okay, let me take yellow. So what I want you to do is, you took yellow, you took red, and now you mix yellow and red a little separately. Look, I have the dark red, the light red, the yellow. So whatever red you have, right? You do not have to, oops, can I show? I'm still getting used to with this camera. So now I'm going to take this yellow and use this. I have taken the red also mix them and it will become my orange. And the trick is take less red, more yellow, because the darker the color, the more overcoming it is. So it will overpower your color. Do you see I made orange? Yes, you do see that I made orange. Now let's do this. We have made margins, right? You have made it with pencils and I did it with color. Now, hmm, you can do at your ease. Let me first show you. Later, I will show you how, how to mix it up so that it doesn't look all over the place. But remember how I said it's easier to start with the lighter color when you are using thicker components like acrylic and oil paint acrylic doesn't matter but if you have a lot of time taking a month to finish a painting it's no big deal but because we have a shorter time let me take the yellow first so i have this yellow here i took yellow in my brush you see so let's paint my sky 
And this is the trick. I will show something. Do not bring the yellow all the way to the border of blue, because what is blue and yellow together? I wish I could hear you guys. <laughs> blue and yellow is green. So we will not, we, we do not want green sky. So we will leave like a little bit space. And then, so I would recommend you guys to take the bigger brush to do this. Let me do the bigger brush, take the bigger brush also. I'll take the yellow, the brilliant yellow, cover the sky with yellow. Bismillah rahman rahim Okay. Now, before we start it, let me tell you another thing, another reflection. That So we just talked about yellow and blue mixes and it becomes green, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all these colors in the sky during sunset, side by side. Nothing mixes and it doesn't become green. So the power. It's very, it's a very beautiful thing to look at, a soft, subtle thing to look at, right? But that shows you the power. He is the one who owns all the power, right? The power that sun doesn't, the day doesn't overcome the night. The night doesn't overcome the day. Like you just don't take day and dump it on night. Or you do not take night and dump it on day. It takes like a good one hour, slowly, slowly, the light dims. Or in the morning, one hour, slowly, slowly, it gets lit up. We don't get a shock. Like, oh my God, it was all light. Suddenly it became dark, right? How did that happen? That doesn't happen. And he, he, the word in Quran um, is used in those verses where the alteration of night and day is being talked the alteration of the day and night. I'll talk about that verse while you are painting. So that majesty, right? It's incredible. So let's say, inshallah, while we are filling up yellows here, here, and everywhere, while we are doing that, let's do another dhikr. Let's say 10 times, subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah hil azim. Right, and then because we are going to put more yellow all over the place, so you can keep saying that even if you're done 10 times, doesn't mean you have to uh, mean that you have to stop in 10 times. Because we know from hadith, Prophet said, Whoever says 10 10 a uh, hundred times, subhanallah, he will be hamdihi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will erase his sins if they were like the foams of the ocean. We have seen the foams of the ocean, how tides comes and splashes into the shore. So let's keep saying, Subhanallah, he will be hamdihi, Subhanallah, he'll azim, while I am putting yellow in the sky and in the water. Subhanallah, he will be hamdihi, Subhanallah, he'll azim, Subhanallah, he will be hamdihi, Subhanallah, he'll azim, Subhanallah, he will be hamdihi, Subhanallah, he'll azim. Subhanallah, he will be handy. Subhanallah, he'll arise me. Subhanallah, he will be handy. Subhanallah, he'll arise me. Subhanallah, he will be handy. Subhanallah, he'll arise me. Subhanallah, he will be handy. Subhanallah, he'll arise me. Subhanallah, he will be handy. Subhanallah, he'll arise me. I'm going, I'm going to leave these places empty and not put yellow there. I'll show you why. That trick I'm going to leave for last. <laughs> Thank you. 
I will be needing more yellow. So I will take out some more yellow. Now, um, one thing, do you see how my canvas has these markings, pencil markings on it? <laughs> so I'm reusing canvas. I wanted to do something on it and I decided not to. Those pencil marks are still there. So this is another trick that I will teach you if you are painting very seriously, that if you want to reuse a canvas that has some scratches on it already and this is canvas primer. So it kind of covers it very well. For me, you can remember that. And if you want to do more paintings, we should go green, we should reuse things. So I'm going to reuse this primer to cover this, this up. And you will see it will not cover up It will not cover up the colors, but it will cover up those pencil marks that I have. And we will keep saying, SubhanAllah, he will be hamdihi. SubhanAllah, he'll Now, remember I told you, told you while we already have something on our brush, let's reuse it. Now we have yellow on our brush, right? So, and you painted the sun white. So let's take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white at the tip of your brush. Do you see? I have taken a little bit of white there too. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put that yellow in the sun. So the sun will not be like shocking yellow. It will be a little bit whitish yellow. And we will put another layer of color on it later because this is our final stroke. The sun will be our final stroke. We'll finish the painting with that and with something else also. So covered the sun as you have pencil marking. So you will remember where your sun is and I'm putting a little more white in the sun, you know? Right, there you go. We have the sun done. The sun done, yes. We have the sun done. And we have prayed a total of 50 adhkar, right? We have, we have said 50 adhkar because subhanallah, wa bihamdihi, subhanallah, la azweem are two dhikr. Together. Okay, now it's Friday. While you are, I will give you a couple more minutes to put more yellow there. And I want to talk about this interesting thing I just said, right? The alteration of day and night. And I, while studying Quran, of course, I do not have. I have like a drop of knowledge in the ocean. Right now I'm in first grade. You can say that level of knowledge I have learned. 
learning Quran, very, very little, very, very little. But the verses in Quran where it's mentioned, this alteration of day and night, right? Like, say, from, from Surah Al-Imran, so it's, it's um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, inna, inna fi khulqi samawati wal ard. So indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, wa ikhtilafi layli wa nahar. And in the alteration of the day and night, la aya tilli ulil albab. Are signs for those of understanding. Albab is like intellect. And the same kind of verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the same mentioning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Al Baqarah in verse 164. And it's a huge verse. I can just say the English. Because we were just thinking, right, in the nature, what all the things are there in the nature. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and in the alteration of the night and the day, and the great ships which sail through the sea with that which benefits people, and what Allah has sent down from the heavens of rain, giving the life thereby to the earth after its lifeless, and dispersing therein every kind of moving creatures. If you don't have rain, that's a pain for the farmers. We do not grow food anymore. That's why we don't understand that. And, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues, and his directions of the wind, the direction of the winds and the clouds controlled between the heavens and the earth are signs for a people who use reason. Over there, the word, al, al bab used, and here, the word, Ya Qilun used that you're using aql. And the same way, this alteration of day and night in Surah Al Yunus, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, but there He mentions, La aya tiliqaumi yattaqun. So here He says, these are signs for a people who fear Allah. So and again, this alteration of day and night is mentioned in Surah Al-Mu'minun. And there, again, the word taqilun used, right? Using aql, so using intellect, using understanding, reasoning, and fearing Allah. When we are looking at all these signs in the nature, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, do you reason? Do you try to reflect? And do you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looking at the majesty of the perfection of all these things? And this is incredible science. No flaw in it, right? SubhanAllah. And today, the outside is so good in sunlight. While I was setting up this whole thing, I was thinking that last session it was all cloudy. So I had to have this white light inside the room. But painting and all colors looks best in sunlight. <laughs> We human beings have created so many lights, right? But even if you paint something in the white light at night, in morning the color will look something else. The green in the field might look a little more bluish in the morning of the daylight. The subhanAllah, even the light that he has given us from the sun, that's the perfect light for us to see every color properly. SubhanAllah. Now, now let's go, let's move to the orange. <clears throat> you already have yellow in your brush. So I would recommend don't clean it. Rather, let's go to the orange and let's take the orange on your brush where there is already yellow. Let me see. Yes, you can see it. And what I will do is, I have to take a sip of water. Um, so take the brush and now is the fun part. <laughs> I love this the most. You are going to sweep it back and forth. Look how it's creating the effects by itself. You don't have to do anything. Yes, you can see those. 
And while we are doing this, before I do that, let me remind, why am I reminding all these things? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran says, and remind, for indeed, the reminder benefits the believers. So, benefits all of us. Benefits me, then benefits you. And remember in Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his angels send salawat to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So all you who believe, send salawat to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every Jumu'ah when we go and sit and listen to the khutbah, the Imam always says that. So let's say 10 salawat to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while we're doing this. Let me start and show you what we're doing. While you're doing that, let's say 10 times, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Now, look at this. I have that orange in my already yellow colored brush and I am just sweeping it left and right. I'm not really bringing it in the middle all the way because we want to keep this middle a little more light because the sun is just directly down there. But the corners, so you cover your canvas like this. While you're covering, you can watch me putting oranges here and there, and I will keep saying the salawat, and you keep saying the salawat too, all together on a Friday. The things that we're supposed to do on a Friday, good for us to do. Reading Surat Al-Kaf, sending salawat to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we will keep sending salawat to our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina So the trick is take as much water as you feel comfortable in your brush so that you can sweep it back and forth easily. Do you see? So whenever your brush is too dry, it will start looking like this. Do you see this? Yes, I'm sure you can. It, it, it will not look smooth. It will not fit smoothly. So put as much, not a lot of water. It will become watery. And if you have paper, paper will rip off. But do you see how much water I have taken in my brush? There is water. Do you see it's glistening in the light? So kind of like that much water so that your brush is smooth. And I'll keep saying salawat to our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 Now, <laughs> see, already it looks very nice. <laughs> alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Now, what we will do is we will take the red, but the red is tricky. So you do not want to put, so that's now it's more than sweeping all over the place. It will be more like um, strokes. Now you are 
coming to <laughs> the stroke of an artist. So you all, my fellow artists who are watching this video, we are going to do strokes. I will show you. So I have the dark red. I'm going to use the dark red and the light red. If you do not have both, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to use the same brush. You don't have to do that. As I said, over the time, you will have that hold. But right now, if you don't have, take two brushes, one having the dark red, one having the light red, or one having the dark red and not light red, one having the dark red and one having that yellow in it so that you can mix it really well. So that dark red, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, while putting it, I will keep saying the salawat on Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You see that I'm overlapping the red with the blue? There is a reason for it. And you guys will see it. As I said, I'll keep it for the last. Do you see I've put the strokes all around? The sky looks very different now. If you do not have black, my cousin this afternoon texted me, how am I going to attend the session? I do not have black paint. You can mix all the dark colors, blue, red, brown. If you have green and mix them really well, all the proportions same, it gives a very dirty dark black color. And from physics, we know black is the construction of all the colors all together, something like that. Okay, now I have to do the water the same way too. So I'm going to do the strokes and water also. See the white places that was left? I'm putting the red and this I'm going to mix. I will show you how to mix it so that it doesn't look like, oh, what is this? It's a halfway through. It's not mixed. And this place put a little bit of red there, not a lot. Light. I have taken a lot of water in my brush. So for these corners, a lot of water. See how watery it is? It rather looks white there. Or like the, I, we can see the canvas. Now, that brush where you had yellow, take that brush or take a clean brush and take orange in it, whatever you feel comfortable and make it very watery. Like I have a lot of water in my brush and whatever looks like it hasn't mixed well, do you see it hasn't? You can see the strokes, you can leave it, leave the strokes. That's, a, that's an art too. Do you see how the impressionists, artists, you can literally see every stroke. That's a style. So if that is your style, you leave the stroke. <laughs> you do not change it. But for mine, I'm going to mix it. So that's the advantage of having canvas, working on canvas, because you can move it back and forth. And now I have taken a little white also in my brush and I'm sweeping it, sweeping it, sweeping it. And it gets mixed over the this canvas paper, um, canvas cloth. It's a canvas cloth. It's not paper. Great exercise for hand, for your wrist. 
great nerve glide. This is what physical therapists call it. And if you cannot finish it by today, remember the video will be up for a whole week. We want to keep it for a week and then take it off the next week because <laughs> when something is there, we're always like, hmm, it's there. I'll do it later. <laughs> but right now, it's time for us personally to be creative, personally to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your space with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is entirely your space with him. It's a great opportunity for us because we have a lot of time in hand. A lot of time in hand. We are at home. So we can practice this, the of Allah, remembrance of Allah, having meditation. It's a very difficult thing to do, doing meditation, sitting there. But somebody taught me that it's like, you know how you... Whatever game you play, you catch. If you're playing cricket, you catch. If you're playing tennis, you catch the ball with your racket and throw it back. So when you are trying to meditate, doing zikr, reading Quran, right? Doing azkar. Whenever you're feeling restless, you catch that restless thing and you throw it away. <laughs> it sounds, it, it, you cannot see it. You cannot really physically catch it with hand. But through your mind, you do that and say later, because if it seems that this painting is not do it, you cannot finish it by now. Watch the video later and do that, inshallah. And the week, this video will not be up in ISBCC's page. You will create your own painting, inshallah. And we all will become creative, inshallah. And I'll keep saying salawat to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 I have taken a lot of um red now i'm going to mix this with yellow that yellow that i had i'm going to show you do you see in my brush i have taken yellow and white you don't have to really do that now if you're not confident you can mix them together this yellow and white and then use the mixed color on there what i'm going to do i'll show you a trick when you have two colors right right like that on your brush and you have the control you have done it many times or you have to first time try unless how will you do that stroke many times so once you put it on canvas it just becomes a mix see there is white in it and then there is yellow in it 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 puts its color on its own what should i say wish and that makes it really beautiful look at that That's why <laughs> Bob Ross said there are no mistakes in painting, only happy accident. You will do a happy accident and you'll find out, oh, it looks so good. Now what I'm doing is I am taking the white and the yellow and I'm just so do you see here, here, uh, here it's left to be smooth. So I am just smoothing it. Let me take it closer so that you can see. 
Yes, I guess now you can see it better. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 Allahumma salli ala Now, now is the fun part that I said that I will do it last. What does purple made with? I really wish we had a live audience and I could hear it from you guys. It's some um, blue and red. So I am going to make purple. And I will show it to you once I have made it. Okay, let me show it to you. Do you see the purple I made? There is the purple there. So that purple I'm going to take, remember we said we are going to draw, mix this line. So let's mix that line. So white, this little white left corners of the painting. And then you just, that stroke that I taught you that you just drag it like this in the middle. Corner, you cut, Paint. See, even if you put this over um, red, it doesn't. It doesn't just mix and make some other color. It just covers it up. So this is the trick. It will look like oh, it all blends and all together. This is the final touch. This is a reflection of ours, right? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says there are signs for the believers in the alteration of day and night. For us, the sign is you. I have been in many classes where our teacher asks, like, I want to hear reflections from you guys. And it's incredible to see, like, one verse of Quran, so many beautiful reflections comes from people's mind. We all think differently, but that's the beauty of Quran, that same verse speaks to different people. The reflections are maybe different, but they all connect, and it's just incredible. I am sure many of you are thinking about some amazing things when you're reflecting about this alteration of day and night, right? So remember this bottom part, bottom here, where the water and the sky like meets. So we're going to put this purple here also. And I'll keep sending salawat to our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 Oh, just be careful. Don't drag it over your sun. We want to keep the sun exactly yellow and clean. And here I'm going to mix it too, right? At the corners, just like that, just like this, see? So here, the water, the blue was separated from red. Now you're just mixing it. You're just mixing it with the red and the blue. That is purple. Oh, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us do the Quran that is reflect upon Quran, right? With all the beautiful artistic verses and majestic verses. There are surahs when you read them and when you reflect on the meanings that generates fear in our hearts. That in many things we come short, we fall short. We human beings have so many flaws in ours. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al Ghafur al Rahim, SubhanAllah, that just reminded me. Let's say 10 times Ya Al Ghafur, Ya Al Rahim. Let's say ten times. Ya al Ghafur, Ya al Rahim. 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 I have learned very recently um, that if you are in distress, we are supposed to be reciting. Ayatul Kursi, um, the verse 255 of Surah Al-Baqarah, and then verse 285 and 286, that the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah. The very interesting thing is that Ayatul Kursi is all about the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? And the last verse of Surah Al-Baqarah, there is a dua, and how earnestly we are making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah, forgive us if you if we have erred or we have erred, like we have done wrong or we have fallen short, right? رَبَّنَا لَا تُؤَخِذْنَا إِنْ نَسِيْنَا أَوْ أَخْطَأْنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تَحْمِلْ عَلَيْنَا إِسْرٌ كَمَا حَمَلْتَهُ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِنَا And do not impose upon us what you have imposed upon the people before us, right? The punishments. May Allah not give us those. And do not give us that we cannot bear. SubhanAllah. Okay, and now I'm going to clean the painting up. So cleaning it up is that these places, I'll just put some yellow to mix it up. And the verse continues. وَقْفِرْ لَنَا وَرْحَمْنَا أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا And forgive us and have mercy upon us. You are our Mawla. It's absolutely beautiful. Because when you are making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, earnestly feeling helpless, submitting yourself totally in the mercy of Him, you feel like that. And the dua itself speaks like that, subhanAllah. Okay, and I'm going to clean. Here, do you see how black is not black, the purple? It's covering, so I'm going to clean this part too. So, do you see? 
I'm just sweeping it. So you do not sweep it this way because the the light is re, um, spreading this way, right? So that's why I'm sweeping it outwards, 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 outwards. And I'll take more yellow and I'll sweep it outwards. All goes outwards. The sun, the beautiful sun. The sunlight. SubhanAllah. Again, <laughs> so many verses are coming in my mind. The verse of Surah An Nur that speaks about the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Nuru Samawati wal Earth. All these lights that we are seeing, the beautiful light of the sun, the beautiful light of the moon. All are the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everywhere is light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> if we look close. And the way in these verses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us, will you not reason? Will you not think? Now, let me take it far. Our painting is done. <laughs> See? So, the final touch is, if you have brown, I'm going to take brown. And if you, as I said, how you make black, right? Make black that way. So that black, if you don't have, you don't have to use black, but mix all the colors, the dark colors, not the light, not white, not yellow. Say blue, green, red. Mix it in same proportion. Mix it really well. It will make like a dirty black color. So we need that to do the final touch. Yes, you can see it. Now I'm going to take the thinnest brush. Um, if you are hesitant to do it or you think it will go outside the boundary, take the thinnest, uh, take pencil first and use your pencil. I'm going to take the brush, clean it very well. I already have a very dark brown color and I'm going to add a little bit blue and a little bit red with it. So another thing, beautiful thing is that sunset, <laughs> all the reflections for you guys to check it out when we shall be able to step out of our house, inshallah soon. Um, sunset gives a kind of black background. So it's more black like the shadows around everything is more black and if you're waking up during fajr sunrise when you look close you will see it's more of a bluish because it's becoming light the one that's becoming darkness that's why you will see sunrises are softer um they do not use black directly you have to like mix blue more and make this dirty color and not use brown too much more of a purplish and while sunset you have to make it more dark and black those sh the shadows around the corner subhanallah right how night comes and fills it up with darkness and how morning comes and fills it up with light the way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the wali for the believers who takes them out of zulumad, that's darkness, to light. SubhanAllah. Here, now I have that very dark color. And we're going to do some strokes. That's the final stroke. Be ready. <laughs> that's going to finish our painting. <laughs> so, as I said, if, if you are not very sure, use your pencil. I'm using my brush. I'm going to paint a very thin border. See, here, along the, where the sky meets the water. And don't make sure that it doesn't go inside the sun. And while I'm doing this, I'll keep saying salawat to our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Do you see? I distinguished the two landscapes.
now ripple of water this is water that's sky so sky stays untouched like that but water needs to be there should be ripple in the water right so let's draw a ripple and here is the sun rays falling so i am going to draw the ripples around here and you see how i am dragging it out outwards Now a little bit, I will put like a little bit in the middle, like very, very little here in the middle, very little. If you are not confident, you don't really have to do that. But you can practice, as I said, if you don't start, and if you don't start your practice, that brush control won't come. Practice, practice, practice. And this is a part where parents and siblings have has to help have to help our young artists who are watching this and trying to do this because it's the tricky part so help them help them do this and now what i'll do is i'm going to take the red the very red because i have to separate the sun right now the sun is like looks kind of in the background but i have to separate it from the rest of the painting and show say subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't have to do that <laughs> everything ha he has created everything shows perfect out there for our painting we have to put so many border lines for things to come visible so around this sun i'm going to draw a thin line and that red i'll show you how you cover it up so that it doesn't look like, oh my God, what's happening? Now you have a distinguishing line, right? And I have used brown. So that brown, I'm going to draw in the middle, that same brown, the dirty brown I created. I'll take that brown, put it in the middle, there. There, we have separated. Now, you see how i did it so i'm going to take it it still shows red right so i'm going to take yellow and drive it over that red while it's wet right and don't put it inside the sun do you see how it looks like as rays coming out 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 around i'm going to bring it closer so that you can see there <laughs> alhamdulillah alhamdulillah and then the same we will do for the water. We don't have to do too much because water has ripples. Ripples save us from doing too much details. So you just, the way I taught you, you do this, drag the stroke outwards, 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 outwards. And I'm going to do the same. Outwards, 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 outwards. And I'm saying the salawat of Prophet while I'm doing this. So we will keep saying that. And finally, I'm taking some white and yellow. Where did my brush go? There. And final touch on the sun. I'm just perfecting the sun, putting one more layer of that whitish yellow in the sun. You know, 
And see, in water, it doesn't have to be perfectly round, right? Because there is ripple. So you, again, drag that white. You see? You're dragging it outwards. There. And then, oops, it's becoming red. <gasps> Don't let it become red. Wash your brush. Again, take that yellow and white and cover it up. Great. And that plain yellow and white cover the sun up too. Our sun is done. Do you see the sunset? SubhanAllah. I wish I could go outside and see the sunset. Now, we see a lot of birds <laughs> get back home during sunset, right? It's a beautiful hadith about, from Prophet Sallallahu about that. That if you were to rely upon Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala the way you should rely upon Him, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will provide for you the way he provides for the birds when in morning they set out from home empty stomach and they have no so it's not this is not said in the hadith but that's the explanation that birds have no idea where they will get their food from so prophet sallallahu saying is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for you the way a bird leaves its nest in the morning empty stomach and comes back home at night full stomach Birds don't have fridges like us. They have no idea where their foods are going to come from. SubhanAllah. Let's draw birds. Let's draw birds. Say a lot of birds are coming back home. All of them are coming back. You see this? They're flying back. There you go. We are done with our painting. I will bring it even closer so that you can see there. Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulillah. So before I finish, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Before I finish of what I, um, Ramadan is coming. Um, it'll be there soon, inshallah. And um, it's 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 a great time for us, right? That we know the month of Ramadan is filled with barakah and blessings, blessings from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We're going through a difficult time. Everybody is going through a difficult time. Many of us has capability to buy grocery and fill up the fridge and then like okay and i won't have to get out from home for a month but there are people who many 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 people who doesn't have that capability but then the ones who are having the capability to have so much food in the fridge alhamdulillah but we're stuck at home so it's driving us crazy <laughs> looking at ramadan in a positive way is that when we will be fasting, our tummy will be empty and we will not have enough energy to get cranky, inshallah. May Allah make it such. And the whole point of fasting is that, that we learn how to control and we that will be like we have to control. We cannot let loose. And let's make dua for those people who are in such a difficult situation. Like say, when everything was fine and nothing was wrong, and the refugees in Syria, in Palestine, in Yemen, um, the Rohingyas, the Uyghur Muslims, Uyghur region in China, Muslims, people in Africa. Right now, we are so worried that, am I going to get the favorite kind of, Americans love coffee, right? Will my favorite coffee be in the grocery store? Um, those people, when everything to us was fine, didn't have food and parents will go starving feeding their children, right? They would like 
literally have to split a morsel of food amongst themselves. They anyway have no medication, no hygiene, no proper way of living. Trust me, even refugee camps, because I, I have talked to people who actually worked in the refugee camps. So they said, even we call it a refugee camp, it's more like a jail. You cannot get out of it and you have nowhere else to go out of it. Let's make dua for all those people. And let's make dua that may Allah protect them in these difficult times. Protect everybody, protect the whole Muslim ummah. And as I said in the last session, that if you're a lit very little person, a young person, you have very tiny hands, right? We do not know whose dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept and whose hands Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the most. So sit with your parents, sit with your siblings and make dua when they're making dua. Amongst everybody, Allah may accept your dua, inshallah, right? And Allah may accept it for everybody from your hand, inshallah. So let's keep those people in our dua. Even we cannot step out from our home, we can sit and make dua. And inshallah, during Ramadan, this is Friday, before Maghrib, I could finish the session exactly an hour before Maghrib. This is a very precious time, the day of Jumu'ah, time before Maghrib, where du'as get accepted. And when it will be Ramadan, there will be one more cherry on top of the desert, that is, your fasting. This hadith from Prophet Wasallam, hadith Tirmidhi, that the prayers before breaking fast, is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So <laughs> I know all of us, um, every culture, we have our favorite fried food. Um, and we like our fried food to be warm and crispy. Um, but the dua is more important. So we can eat, eat not so crispy, and spend the time before iftar making dua doing dhikr of Allah, reading Qur'an, and making dua for the whole family, for the whole world, we have to. This is a time where we surely, surely, we always need dua. Before things was good, so-called good, still we needed dua. Now we also need dua for all of us amongst each other. And if you are so craving for a crispy, fried food, fry it after you break fast. Right? <laughs> okay, inshallah, inshallah. Everybody stay well, inshallah. May Allah accept, may Allah accept the session as an ibadah from us on a Friday, on a Jum'ah day. May I and you all get benefited from the remembrance of Allah that we did. Take it with you. Practice it. Make a habit of practicing it for yourself. And as we said, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us to remind, because the reminder benefits the believers inshallah khair stay safe stay home may allah protect us and give us a very successful ramadan that when we are at home may we learn to connect ourselves more to him that we shall not be able to go to tarawih we shall not be able to go jama we shall not be able to have breakfast with a huge lot of people right in the masajid we used to do in the msas we used to do um, with families and friends we shall not be able to but may that make us remember that always Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us whether we are with people whether we're not without, with people so may Allah make this Ramadan a chance for us to connect to him even more and if you want to help say think about it who needs help how can you help can you help donating can you help just calling somebody texting somebody an elderly neighbor who cannot step out from their home? Do you want to do grocery for them? Many, many other things which I cannot think about. You might be thinking about it. So if you can think about a good deed, do it for everybody, not just for me or not just for the Muslim community, for everyone, because Ramadan, a good deed, gets multiplied in reward during Ramadan. So much hasanat. We don't want to miss all those hasanat for ourselves because Inshallah, inshallah, on the day of judgment, we want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rich, wealthy, wealthy with hasanat, because no other wealth will come useful that day. Inshallah, khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.